Good day, learners. Once again, I am your mentor, Mentor Ray. For today, we're going to talk about terbutaline. Okay, so don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button after you've gone through this video. I just hope it would help you when you take your test. Let's begin our discussion with a question. What is the purpose of administering terbutaline to a patient with preterm labor? Before we answer that question, okay, let's recall our framework. And with our framework, the concepts that we need to remember when we're studying this drug. So the first thing that we have to know would be the classification of the drug, then how to evaluate the effects of the drug, exactly what time is best to administer the drug, the client teachings related to the administration of the drug, and the case to giving the drug safely, okay? Okay, now let's talk about terbutaline. So the classification, it's a tocolytic. So what does it do? It promotes relaxation of the uterus, so it's used to stop preterm labor. Now, how will we know that it's effective when there's gonna be decreased number and frequency of uterine contractions? Now take note of those two parameters when we evaluate for the effects of the drug. So decreased number, and decreased frequency. And then it is usually given 48 to 72 hours in preterm labor. The common side effects include tachycardia, skin flushing, hypokalemia, tremors, and restlessness. And then remember the oral form should not be used for treatment of preterm labor. And when a patient has a comorbidity, like for example, hyperthyroidism and poorly controlled diabetes mellitus, the drug is contraindicated. Now, after we recall those concepts, let's go back to the question that I posted a while back. What is the purpose of administering terbutaline to a patient with preterm labor? Simple, to prevent preterm labor or to slow down preterm labor or to relax the uterus, thereby preventing preterm labor or decreasing preterm labor frequency and um, duration of contractions, okay? Sorry, wait a minute. So let's go back to answer the question. What is the purpose of administering terbutaline to a patient with preterm labor? Well, we give terbutaline to relax the uterus. It's a tocolytic. So what is important is for us to remember that it helps stop preterm labor. So that's one thing that you have to remember for your test. So congratulations this time. To a gentleman from Muntinlupa, that's where I come from, okay? Congratulations, Miguel Carlo Bakiran, USRN, who passed the NCLEX RN State Board exam for New Mexico last June 24, 2020. Happy birthday to me. That's my birthday. Congratulations for not stopping despite the pandemic. You remain uh, focused to your dreams, and we just hope that with this, having the USRN title after your name, this would further push you towards your great American dream. So let's learn together. For more instructional videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gapus Mentors, and my Facebook page, Mentor Ray.